There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Midfield. Here's Wentz. Steps away. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. Back to the air on second down. Wentz. And completes to Zach Ertz. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. They fake the give. Now wins. And Rodgers has it over on the right side. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. No move for the field goal unit. They're going to go here with five seconds left. A final shot before half for wins. And he floats one there incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter there are zero points on the scoreboard for either side it'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made the defenses have obviously been great so if you like defense this is a classic game this is what you're looking for but now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll, we'll see which avenue they choose to go down. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, Wentz. Flush to his right. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. 
Wentz to throw on second down. Caught right side, Tate. A very solid gain of 27. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And to the 12, that's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. They go play action here on first down. Ertz has it left side. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed as that's going to move the chains. Wentz now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Wentz will try again on second down, eluding the pressure right. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And incomplete there, a nice hit, jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone.
Now Sproles. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And three interceptions in this game. I would have to think. I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. A big play there for Philly. 54 yards. When the big guy rumbles down the center of the field and he gains leverage on a guy trying to cover him, it is really, really tough for the defender to get through him to make a play on the football. That's why guys love to throw that route down the middle, throw it deep, and let the big guy go get it. They'll try to run with a Johnny. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They come out here in the eye. Now Wentz will keep it. Carson wins. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. So we have a score to report after all. Whoa, 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 Stop the press. Yeah, I know. I just brought broadcasting 101. I cut in on my play-by-play -play guy. <laughs> but think about it this way. Marvin, our crack, our crack researcher, just handed us a note. We haven't had a scoreless tie in the NFL since 1943. 43. 43. And we will not have history here in this one. Part of our first points of the game coming in the fourth quarter. I don't think that either one of us saw this game unfolding this way when it all began. No, do. absolutely not. But, hey, now it's still just a one-score game. So don't go anywhere. A lot more to play for. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Here we go, here we go. Wentz. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Brown. And he's able to get it back to right around the 20. Seven. go on the ground and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there 